Hello, it's me, Robin Stephan. Uh, it's a bright, sunny day, as you can see. And I want to take it up from where we stopped last. But before then, let me quickly find out how are you keeping? Are you enjoying the notes you've been taking? Please take time to go back to your notes and be able to update yourself from time to time share it with your friends and uh, most importantly to make them become aware of this website uh, this program is intended to be available to as many singles as possible because it will help you see you might even go through a Bible school and you don't have lectures on how to have a successful marriage so I'm here to enhance your relationship and help you have a lasting happy marriage lasting happy relationships might not be marriage might be with your friends these principles cut across it works the principles work how do i know well i've applied them i've been applying them i'm still applying them today now i want to quickly ask you to um take a look at the things that we have put down on this page uh, and they are information about the programs that we are going to take in the six weeks course i'm just hoping that what you have heard so far uh, they, they have benefited you in some ways it have helped you to become aware of some some things so that leads us to the next point and that is there are four basic ways four processes of learning four major steps that you cannot jump over number one is becoming aware of the things you never knew it's that there are things that are possible and you are just not aware of them there are things that you can have but you don't know they exist there are levels of life that you can enjoy but you don't know how that can happen now some years ago if they told you that with a click of a button that you can send one information to millions of people across the globe maybe you would have argued you would have thought it was impossible so all that needed to be done was somebody who could find out how it could be done so these modules these teachings are meant to show to you how it can be done we are going to take out time to talk about communication we're going to take our time to talk about uh, emotional maturity or what most psychologists refer to as emotional intelligence emotional intelligence or emotional quotient so we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about money in relationships we're going to talk about the god factor and the luck factor we're also going to talk about the you factor now how what's your own place where are you supposed to function to make your marriage work so um it, it's going to be a full package so I, I want you to become aware that there are certain things that can be possible for you there are things that are happening in marriages that you don't know so all you see is the facade is the external things most times based on what you have seen in movies and films and or you have read up from videos i mean read of novels of some names that you respect that cannot form the basis for your own marriage or your relationship that you intend for it to last so you need in your own program in your own plan to include the time to learn number one understand there are things that can be possible for you there are certain amount of money you can earn but you don't just know how so that brings you to the the things that you are not aware the unconscious incompetence unconscious incompetence that's the level now the second level is that you now become aware that there are things that you could have but you didn't just know you were not aware so you were unconscious of the things that could be available unto you now the next level is becoming conscious of what you don't know 
first is that you are not conscious of what you don't know second is that you now become conscious of the things that you don't know and that brings you to the point where we are having what we are having now you are hearing some information that are creating awareness causing you to know that there are certain things you ought to have but you don't have them you couldn't have them because you didn't know how most times it's not just that they are not available it's that they are available and you don't know how so you can have the relationship of your dream you only need to know how and number three is now where you now consciously do something about it you consciously learn about it but you are not really fully competent you are not a master yet you become aware of it and do something about it and then you begin to practice it you begin to make effort at that stage the confidence may not be full and complete you are just trying to get your head around what is happening and that is the stage that is very critical you need to put that put that put away all the feelings of oh i might make a mistake oh i, I might i might stumble here or i might fail here that is where many people turn away from the fulfillment of their destiny in business in relationships and in everything they don't want to make mistakes now by making that choice that you don't want to make a mistake that is the mother of all mistakes that is the mother of all mistakes it's like people who say i don't want to decide about this or i've not decided you have not decided means you have made a decision not deciding is a decision it's a decision consciously unconsciously you're making a decision and the fourth stage is the most powerful is the most important thing which is what we are aiming at and that will bring me to the next level of what i'm going to tell you and that is a stage where you practice these things until you are now unconsciously doing them.